Dealing with resentment at work can be a continual challenge. Hopefully you don't have to deal with it particularly often, but we're gonna go over a few ways you can start dealing with resentment better at work today. Let's get into it. When it comes down to it, dealing with resentment on a daily basis is going to be a cognitive and emotional load that you should try to be more proactive in avoiding or alleviating. So being proactive, so if you have a problem with a person trying to shed some light on what the problem is, because it's possible this person has no idea that there's a problem. So you could be having some Hanlon's razor go on. Hanlon's razor, which is don't attribute to malice that which is most likely explained by stupidity. Stupidity in this case is really just lacking the self-awareness or paying attention to the problem. So are you upset that this person's acting a certain way? Have you asked them about it? Have you brought it up? Do they actually have the visibility to talk about this thing with you? Or are you in this weird spot where you're just kind of internalizing all of this and the other person has no idea that there's a problem? Because that's gonna burn you out and if the other person doesn't know that they're causing you any strife, why would you, why would you think that this is gonna just magically fix itself? So instead of you taking your energy and being mad or circling the drain, as I like to call it. So instead of circling the drain, you should be more proactive in talking with the person you have the resentment for or using your professional social network to try to figure out if they do this to other people, are they actually singling you out? Because being singled out in the office is pretty unusual. Again, don't assume off the rip that this person actually trying to single you out. Assume they aren't paying attention and you are getting some stray bullets, we'll say. That's a better stance for you to have. So you have a baseline, here's the stance. This person's probably not singling me out, they probably just aren't paying attention to how this affects me. And if you can bring awareness to that and just kind of shed some light on, hey, uh, what you did over here uh, affects me, it's annoying, it's causing me extra work, can we do this different in the future? It could be just that easy to diffuse the resentment that you might have lingering around with people in your office. If there is resentment and the person is actually singling you out, you might have to learn acceptance or you might consider moving roles, moving groups, getting away from this person in some other facility. That could be a different way that you could tackle this. I've only had to deal with that once in my career thus far and I'm happy that I came out unscathed and the person left the company, so I didn't have to leave, they left. So when it comes down to it, if you're having resentment with someone and they actually are singling you out, you kind of need to think of yourself as in an interrogation room and the other person has a gun and you have the bullets. Now, would it be in your best interest to give them the bullets to shoot at you? No, it would not be in your best interest to do that. So don't give them any ammunition. Simple as that. If you start paying attention, if you actually have someone singling you out, don't give them ammo. Very sage advice that I was taught about 10 years ago, and it saved me in my one particular instance where I was being actively singled out, which caused some serious resentment, mostly from them to me. And I didn't really ever figure out what the resentment was from. But so when it comes down to it, you really just need to be paying better attention. I say that in a lot of these videos. So you should stop being so angry or resentful at work if you are and you should start using that energy in a more productive way. Then you'll get more done and you don't have to be fretting about the person who you have the resentment towards or if they have resentment towards you. It's really that easy. So this resentment topic is a challenge and it's a social intelligence challenge because you have to be paying attention to not only your own emotions, but the emotions of your colleague. I hope you're paying attention and got a lot out of this quick social intelligence topic if you want more on social intelligence, play this playlist up here. Or if you're ready to move back to IQ, you should get started in this playlist down here. Or keep doing what you're doing and getting the results you've been getting. See you next time.